I called Robin up and I said, you know, this year for your birthday, what I want to do is have a birthday dinner for you. So invite 10 people. You mind me talking about this? No, go okay. ahead. What are you? What, well, what? it's going to insult some people. Uh oh. Well, think about it. I mean, you <laughs> oh, know, dear. some people weren't invited. So I said, <laughs> I could only no. have 10. Yeah. So you did a really great thing. <laughs> she goes, The following list Gary and Mary Delabate. I went, <laughs> Oh, good. Somebody for me to talk to. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Fred and Allison Norris. And John and John's wife. Hit him with the hind. Debbie. What? Debbie. Debbie. Hit him with the hind. I got to admit, I understood the Fred and Allison and the Gary and Mary. I was shocked by the John Hine and, the, and Debbie. Really? Hit him with the hind. Yeah, I didn't know that you, uh... Well, oh, you said Debbie. something funny when I mentioned them. No idea what I say. You said, so you do like John Hine. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't know that you really... <laughs> The John Hine one caught me, and I was like, I, "Listen, I love uh, John," but then I realized why we're at John George. John, John's like a baby. I Even, know. I, oh. I thought about that too and when like, we were sitting there. Yeah, and I could tell he was bummed out because the menu didn't have like a hamburger on it <laughs> or a French fry option. He had to be impressed with that food. Oh, Come man. on, John. Did you open your mind up last night and enjoy the food? Because he had never been to a, a John George before. A restaurant with but, seats before. The, <laughs> this yeah. was the first restaurant he went to that didn't have plastic straws. <laughs> Were you impressed? I mean, did, did you open your mind up? Because the food there is, I've never had a bad meal there ever. Hit him with the I thought it was very good. Yeah. But it is not my typical meal, to say the least. But did it open you up to the idea of some fine dining? Uh, no. No. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, first of all, I saw he was ordering all the wrong things. Like, What kept... did he order? I... When you told me we were going there, I immediately went to the menu to study because I wanted to be right. prepared. But there are different ways they can. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to pick what we were going to eat or. No, of course. You know. because I even nudged Robin. I said, let's go with it because God knows what John wants. So I was thankful for that. And then on the, the only John he knows is Papa John, not oh. John George. <laughs> yeah. So the first course had like a choice of all this caviar stuff, which yeah. Yeah, I've he, never had, so I skipped that. Go ahead. So I there was a salad option, and everyone here thinks for some reason that I don't eat vegetables, but I do. I eat salads all the time. Gary doesn't eat vegetables. Yeah, so you ordered like the most boring entree. You ordered a salad. And then the second course was I got uh, mixed vegetables, steamed mixed vegetables. Yeah, that's oh where you, my that's, God. When I looked at what he got, like, I wouldn't even get mixed vegetables there. You don't you don't get that at John George. You should have had what I had. You should have had the pea soup with those cheese puffs. I, I didn't want pea soup. But hey, you I see, this like, fucking guy, he doesn't know how to eat. It was see, a waste having him there. I know, let me I'm tell you. I'm sorry I invited it him. It was a hefty bill. I was going to say something when you invited him. <laughs> and then, I forgot about him being Mr. Fast on, Food. Because on. you know what it is? Thinking of how I wanted to spend time the, with him. Yeah. But the thing, I enjoyed the company. I appreciated the invite. I think the restaurant is fantastic. But for me, I was just trying not to embarrass myself because they would serve stuff in between when the food came out. And I had no idea what that was. Like that little corn showed up and I was like, Did okay. you try it? Yeah, I did. I ate everything. What I did ate. you have for your main dish? I had Parmesan chicken, which, oh, okay. was, which was very good. Yeah. I felt for John because I think he was very confused by everything. <clears throat> and I think it was I didn't for... realize it was this bad. <clears throat> you know, and, and in <clears throat> fact, at one point they brought, <laughs> this is the best, they brought this little gelatin ball to like cleanse your palate yes. between dinner and it was very um, delicate. So we all put it in and we put it in our mouth. It broke. John broke it when he picked Before it up. He yeah, you know what? That, when, John, when John picked it up and he squeezed it, I, I was thinking of Herman Munster whenever he used to like pick stuff up. <laughs> yeah, he'd break it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his whole little life. <laughs> but you are right, Howard. There are already some hard feelings of people what? out of the office. I knew it. When you first started talking about it, uh, Jason stopped by the office and he goes, well, who's invited to this dinner? And I go, well, Fred. And I point, I just pointed to John with my finger and he just goes, ooh. Oh, oh wow. Nice. But he's so okay. That's he's, the... he's okay. Um, Does Jason think he, that Robin should have chosen him over uh, John Hine? No, I, don't, I asked Is him. It, are people wondering why John Hine? Howard, 
Yeah. I'm not upset that I wasn't invited. When I found out Johnny, my reaction was like, I didn't even know John and Robin knew each other, let alone <laughs> would go to dinner with each other. Yeah, and I said to Robin, thank you, because I can't afford Jason and John Hine on the same <laughs> bill. Those are two big boys. When Ralph wakes up, he's going to be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Now, see, that I could understand people being pissed about if Pizza Ralph time. had been invited. And by the way, John, were you shocked when you got the invite? Yes, I was surprised. I was surprised when I, I sent I, out I the invite. I was pleasantly surprised. Look, Rob and I are, are closer than, I guess, everybody here realizes. Yeah. Right. But John was saying, we were talking about it this morning, John was saying that it's almost embarrassing because they bring out everybody's dinner and they explain what everybody's having. Yeah. And John's like, well, what if I don't want people to know what I'm having? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, and for, for the sir, the Lee McDonald's. <laughs> Howard. Yes. Uh, so Ronnie's downstairs waiting for our guest, but I texted him and asked if he was upset he wasn't invited. He wrote, and I don't know if he's serious or joking, he just wrote, I am, I guess I'm on the bottom of that chain, not enough class for them, LOL. Oh, for them? Geez. And you them. know what? You want to know something? I had a feeling Ronnie would be upset, and I'm going, what the fuck is wrong with him? I mean, Robin likes Ronnie. I love Ronnie. But not enough to go to, out of 10 people. Ronnie's not on the top of that list. Oh, I knew Ronnie would be bummed. Oh, geez. Who was geez. number 11? Yeah. Who, Who was, was number 11? Were you debate like... I only had 10. I didn't have... There was... Again, the thought of Ralph did come up, but I said no. Hmm. Thank you. I mean... <laughs> no, well, I love we, Ralph. I would have loved so it. If Ralph, Ralph was there... Ralph was probably on the cusp. Yeah, if Ralph was there, I would have been happy. Weren't we really only nine last night? Yes. Yes, yes, we were. So there was room for a tenth. There was, but this, brought, is who Robin, date. this is who Robin wanted. Yep. Is Benji upset? I bet he'd be. Because I think he thinks he should be in on that list. <laughs> probably. And is. it had nothing to do with what our relationships are in the office. Right. It was our relationships out of the office. Right. Howard, the best part was the dessert. Yes. They brought out, you know, a piece of cake, a chocolate cake for Robin, and we sang, we tried to sing Happy Birthday. <laughs> right. And then the chocolate cake immediately got over to Gary. And you, <laughs> you could see Gary was in heaven because okay. he had the shrimp with bacon early on. Right. And then there was so much chocolate on that table. Oh, my he, God. You could tell he was just like, fuck it. Yeah, I'm I gave him my in. chocolate, too. I oh, had white chocolate, and I gave it to him. You wouldn't believe that was me holding back last night. <laughs> right. So I just spoke to Benji. Yeah. Benji, I don't, I don't know if you want to hear from Benji. It's hard to articulate. He goes, I'm not upset that I wasn't invited, but with John... And I go, well, what with Johnny? He goes, I, I don't know how to say it. I go, are you mad that you're not in front of Johnny? He goes, not exactly, but kind of. Hmm. John seems to be pissing everybody off. Well, anyway, it was a fun night. <laughs> it was. Thank you so right. much. Yeah. Thank Robin. She invited you. Thank you, Robin. I was, I was, well, I was well, thank you both, because you paid. <laughs> right, right, right. But I, I really had no idea that John Hine was this kind of lightning rod. Yeah, he's <laughs> a lightning rod. Right <laughs> That's me. <Yeah. laughs> Jim from North Carolina. Go ahead. Hey, Robin. Uh, happy birthday tomorrow. Thank you. Ronnie should be upset with you about not getting invited to your party. Why? Look, I could only invite 10 uh, people. Well, I gave her they... a limit. I said 10. The thing that blew everyone's mind, that John Hine. I don't know why. They just didn't know you had that level of friendship. Hit him with the Hine! Why should they know every relationship I have? People are interested in you <laughs> and what you're I mean, up what to. What happened between you and Ronnie? Yeah, what Robin, happened I mean. between me and Ronnie? I think Robin realized Ronnie's nuts. No, I didn't. That was Honestly. not it at all. Ronnie, are you upset that Robin, seriously? I mean, yeah. I want to know the truth. Don't give me bullshit. No, I don't care anymore, dude. Right. Anymore. Oh, but you so sound you used to be no, upset. No, no, because you know what? I know my place on the chain, dude. Oh, geez. I know where I'm at. I said to Robin, invite 10 people. I'm throwing you a birthday party at John George. You can it, put the crying music away, No, no, man. yeah, put crying. it away. In a, in a way, That's yeah, Fred. Fred, turn that yeah, off. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Robin forgets <laughs> going back when her, who her real friends were, you know? Exactly. Like back in oh. the day, you were yeah. a lot closer to her than John Hine ever was. Oh, fuck yeah. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I heard through the grapevine that Ronnie's kind of putting this on me. Really? Why? I heard that you thought that John got invited because it was my idea. Oh, I just made that as a joke saying that. <laughs> yeah, but many a truth is said in jest. What I said was. Jesus Christ, man, you can't say <laughs> shit around here. Well, let it Welcome. out. What did no, you say? I, all I said was uh, maybe Gary said that uh, John's a good conversation person to bring to dinner. Like well, he's a good this guy. This all from Robin. Sit and bullshit. You know? I didn't I talk would, to Gary yeah, about it. I was not consulted at all, Ronnie. All right, Gary, calm down. Jeez. You're the only one yelling, dude. I'm not crying. <laughs> I told you. I know my place here. John Hine is not an electrifying conversationalist. He barely said a word at <laughs> well, dinner. Well, when we yeah. go to dinner, he's, he has plenty to say. I think I was talking just as much as everybody else at the dinner. Were you? Yeah. I talk a lot, too. Oh, hi, hi Ronnie. But you Puppet. wouldn't know because you didn't invite me, Robin. That's fine. <laughs> That's okay. I told you. 
Were you uh, Ronnie okay. Puppet? Were okay. you? Uh, yeah, I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie yeah. Puppet, you're clearly hurt. I sat. I sat home. Yeah. Did you sit home yeah. staring sat home. at the wall, talking to the wall, staring pretending the wall. you were at the party? Yeah. You know, the other thing is that Howard invited me out to dinner. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what does that mean? Yeah. It means you should that have means... invited her to dinner. That's what she's saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that what you're saying, Robin? And everybody at that table has invited me out. Oh, yeah. now you can go fuck yourself. Recently, <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ronnie. One million fucking times I said to you, we got to get together. We should get together. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Bullshit. You see, that's why I know. What do you know? Now <gasps> the truth comes Bessie's out. That's full of shit. <laughs> now you know. Yeah, because see, you know how many times I've said to her, we should get together. Oh, yeah. We're going to get together. Where did John Hine invite you, Robin? He's invited me out to dinner. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, mm. so have we. I know that, Ronnie, but it's never an official invitation. It's like what we should get together. What are you talking together. about? We should get together. We, we should, should get, get together, together and we shit. Get together. Yeah, you should get together with Ronnie so we can yell 69. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Let's that's get rid of these wives. That's what shit. I do when I go out. I yell, I sit in the middle of a restaurant. Yeah. I don't know what you do. Give me a fucking chair and Let's put me in the middle of Let's go to Red Lobster! <laughs> <laughs> Robin, I'll give you a Sophie's choice. You have to have dinner with one. Oh, jeez. It's either Ronnie or John Hine. Who do you go with? I would choose Ronnie now because oh, I just now. had dinner yeah, with the, uh, John Hine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. now you would go. Yeah, yeah. Now, fuck you. Well, fuck you. I'm not going. You're, you're fuck now yourself. feeling yeah. like uh, exactly. go fuck Hello. yourself. I'm gonna stay. Fucking. I'm gonna stay home and wax my NASCAR tire. <laughs> so right. now you don't want to go out. With no, me. fuck you. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> 